uh, d- Democrats, though, and, and you say it's a you say it's a down cycle, and that makes sense. We don't have a governor race this year. We don't have a Senate race this year. We don't have a presidential race this year. But Democrats are up one hundred thirty two thousand dollars over where they were last year, and you guys are down. And, and I guess again, is that is that troubling? I mean, is that something that's on your radar? Well, there's there's no question about the fact that when you have a new U.S. senator elected, like the uh, Democrats did in the in high camp that they're going to use that and transition that into trying to bring more money into the state. You know, I haven't gone through their, their reports to see where money's coming from or whatever else, but it's obviously an advantage to have that uh, that senator, especially newly elected, and um, and just got done with the job of running and raising all that money, that they're going to be able to start trying to transition some of that into the, uh, into the state party. But, again, if they were in such a good position and if they had – the money that they needed to support all of these different statewide races that they're going to do, why haven't any candidates come forward to say, you know, I'm your guy, help me out, let's run. They just haven't. So, yeah, maybe they're raising a little bit money, more money right now, but I don't think at the end of the day, well, well, at the end of the day, we'll certainly be able to compete with and do the channel program that we need to to be able to win. Last uh, last year, the the North Dakota Republican statewide convention, and, and I know you weren't here for that, but it was eventful. Uh, a lot of a lot of uh, uh, floor battles over you know procedure uh, over uh, I, yep. I know there, there there was a lot of angst over the the, the presidential straw poll uh, also the the selection of national delegates. Do you expect a repeat of that yep. this year? You know I don't think there'll be um, quite the same repeat of that this year just because there's not as much um, uh, pressing on the, on the national topics. You know we did a lot of work in the uh, in the background in the off season meeting with our districts, meeting with the chairs, meeting with their executive committees, trying to talk to them about process and procedure to, to iron out some of the uh, things that may have gotten a bit confusing for some or may have been convoluted during the last convention. So we, we did some background work to take care of that, but the point is it's just not going to be that same crush of people with those high-level interests, so we're going to iron some of those things out, take care of this year, and then we'll be ready for a 2016 convention, which will have some of those big topics back up on it again. Give me the details about the statewide convention coming up here end of March. Sure. Well, we're still working on some of the uh, the timing and the details and still working on uh, on confirming and uh, releasing the names of some of uh, the speakers that we'll have coming in. So I'll get that information out as soon as I can. But it's basically it's, it's April 4th through the 6th in my night. It's going to be at the state fairgrounds. Um, we'll start out on Friday night with some committee meetings, you know, rules and platform and all the kind of back-end side of the convention. And then I believe the governor's hosting a uh, dinner that night and a fundraising dinner. We'll start off with the main body of work at the convention on Saturday. I think most of those endorsements will take place on Saturday. Um, possibly get into some of the uh, the platform kind of things and other business of the convention as well. Um, and then have a uh, dinner and social hour event that evening, some hospitality type events with the uh, with the candidates and such. And then the first lady always hosts a prayer breakfast on Sunday morning, and that'll really be the uh, wrap up to the convention. All right. Well, Jason, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it. And, uh, of course, looking forward to hearing more from you as the 2014 season gets into high gear. No problem at all, Rob. Thanks for having me on. Give me a shout anytime.